M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick tip here I had from Russ and Gus at DV Mega Combitronics. So this is a built-in system of calibration for your Pi Star hotspot. And many of us talk about the BER losses that we see when we're talking with our friends. So if you look on the left here, we've got the digital voice dashboard calibration. I'm using the DV Mega hotspot at the moment. I'm going to do this as well on on some other hotspots using Pi Star. So once you've got to this link at the top, what you do is you put in the IP address of your hotspot, then put slash, and I will paste it in for you, slash admin slash calibration dot PHP. And it takes you to this page. And I've, in all the years I've been using PyStar, I didn't even know this existed. And so if I just click stop at the moment, as you can see at the moment, we're on DMR. I'll, t I'll do separate videos for testing it with different modes. But right now I've got my DMR radio connected, okay? So we're gonna click DMR and start so in the red little dot here we'll do dmr start click them both and if you wait a few seconds it will go green it takes about 10 seconds and hey presto it goes green there you are the, the start's gone green we're just waiting for the dmr to go green as well i'll click it again if i have to there you are clicked it again so that's activated it. Now we're gonna key the mic on our DMR radio and watch what happens with these figures here. I'm keying the mic and you'll start to see the graph and you'll see figures here. And it says here, my BER is one and it's, it's varying, okay? And you can reduce or increase it here with the offset. There are steps, so let's choose 25 and you can go you know, you can change it up and down as you key. And you're trying to get it below one, aren't you? And mine's quite low here. And once you've done that, you just go save. Now I haven't moved forward from this, but my guess is then you connect your YSF radio, put it into YSF mode, and do the same thing again. So what I'll do is we'll do that. We'll go configuration. Well, it looks like there's an update here. Might as well do that while we're here. So we'll just click update, let that run. Okay, that's done. So we'll just go back to the dashboard. And you can see on the right hand side, I've put MW0, MWZ's website there. And that's Andrew Taylor, the inventor of PyStar. So anyway, this is, uh, put it back on, but it's just waiting for it to to log back in after doing that. So we go to configuration and we're gonna turn on YSF mode and I'll set the same, I'll leave it at the same frequency, it's gonna be easier. Click apply changes and I'll grab my YSF radio that I've got in my hand. I know you can't see it, but I'm basically turning it on, typing in a simplex frequency. Just, just hold your finger, it's an FT54315550, and then we're going to set mode DN, and we do need to make sure it's simplex, which it is. So no plus or minus shift, you don't need a tone or anything like that. So that's in there, let's go to dashboard. We do need it to be green really, I would say. Uh, are we still in the configuration window? Let me just check. Well, I'm in the... YSF window, let's just see if it works. So we're gonna go YSF. Oh look, how quickly it did that, wow. So let's key the mic on my radio, same frequency. I'm not getting anything at the moment, ah, there you go. Not too bad, is it? And again, you go plus or minus, and once you're happy what it's got, you just save. Now, just out of interest, I'm going to do D Star and just see if I even need to have the D Star radio, need to have the hotspot in D Star mode. So I'm going to go stop, D Star. You probably do, I would say, but it is a guess. So start, grab my D Star radio. Yeah, well, I haven't changed mode, and it is actually allowing me to 
to switch to D star, but I do need the radio in the same frequency, which is 431550. Okay, I've grabbed my radio and it's just simplex 431550, but DV mode. I'm going to key, see if anything happens. Yeah, it says bit error, is eight, bit error rate zero, probably because. I haven't set it up as a proper digital voice channel, but you get the idea of what's working here. I think with the D, D star items, you need to have a zero shift. I could add that. And also your call sign. So I need to set up frequency. So let me just put it onto my dashboard config. Just change the frequency to the same as what I ha do have programmed in my D star, which is 433550. Apply changes. And then I'll go back into DR mode on my radio. I've got it on use reflector now. Just let that configure just for a minute. Dashboard. Let's go configuration. Oh, of course, we have to choose D star. Apply changes, yeah. Give that a minute. Remember to select D-Star, not DMR. Right, we're on D-Star. We're just waiting to uh, log in. But it's all D-Star configured now. Go back to the other window and we'll add in that slash. Admin, I'll put a link into that. And this time we're going to go D-Star start. And that has gone green. Let's key the mic. Again, do that again. So have a little play. I think it's great fun. Not done this before. Let me know if it helps you. I think it will. And we've got to wait for it to go green. One of the things I keep doing is clicking the lights. Click the actual squares. And that's one of the mistakes I was making. I did reboot just to make sure that I'm on D star and then we'll put in that address again. And just put this slanty line there again. Should find it. All right, we're in the calibration one now. Let's try just try one last time, but you know, I mean just just play in it. Start and D star. I did hear some audio coming through before I went into this page. You can see it's now gone green, so I'm going to just key up, see what we get. It's not showing it in D star for some reason, but it, it has gone green. Is it because my BER is so perfect though? Could be, look, it's all zeros here when I key. Well, that's good to know. And then you've got P25 NXTN. So give it a go. I think this is good. I will put the link in. Just remember that when you do this, your IP address at the beginning is, so mine's 192.168.0.104, will be your IP address. But the rest is quite short, actually. Admin slash calibration dot PHP. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks to Pistar. And uh, thanks to MW0MWZ for, for all his work on PyStar 7.3, all the best.